do know that Donald Trump Sr. has lied throughout this investigation. This goes to the heart of everything we've been talking about for the last couple of years, the collusion yes. and the cover-up. I also think there's a very strong argument to be made that this is a high crime or misdemeanor for which impeachment may be a possibility. The president's tweet couldn't have been scripted better if it was written by Putin himself. Donald Trump is going there to meet with his handler. The Republican Party has surrendered to Russia. Well, just some of the reporting leading up to the Mueller report was quite wide off the mark. Senior political analyst Britt Hume is here with some lessons learned, learned perhaps. It's been a long year and 10 months, Britt. Good it evening. has indeed. And if you think about it, Brett, this investigation actually goes back to the middle of 2016. So it's been going on for quite a long time. And this endless speculation about it, indeed the accusations about it that came out of many mouths, on cable television and in the in the public prints, uh, the the list of people who got it wrong is really quite extensive. And you know, to include many news organizations that got the prospect of Donald Trump being elected in the first place badly wrong, and seem not to learn very much from that. One hopes and expects, perhaps, that after this debacle, and that's exactly what it is and the worst journalistic debacle of my lifetime, um, that there'll be some serious soul searching. Unfortunately, so far, Brett, I'm not seeing a lot of it. I noticed that a couple of our cable news competitors have moved kind of seamlessly on to speculation about obstruction of justice now, following, as they so often seem to do, uh, the Democratic Party script. Remarkable. You think it was worse than the Iraq WMD coverage? I do, because I think the Iraq WMD coverage was really basically driven by an intelligence failure that was not a failure by journalists. Um, of, and, you know, people believed Saddam Hussein had WMD because, you know, every intelligence service on the earth basically thought the same thing. Every voice in Congress said the same thing. And, you know, and he, and he never really quite denied it. In fact, he behaved as if he had them all along. And so right. I, th I think that, you know, so reporters, and reporters mostly reported what officials were saying about it. The officials turned out to be wrong because the intelligence was wrong. A lot of what we saw here was not just a lot of a lot of what we saw here was not just reporting. Yeah, you had so many anonymous sources flying all kinds of things. It seemed up a, a flagpole every day in different papers, and then you had former intelligence officials who were hired by cable outlets, like the former CIA director Brennan, the former National Intelligence Director Clapper, who were saying extraordinary things on the air. Yeah, and Brennan had kind of apparently said something this morning to the effect that well, maybe he was misinformed, and you know this didn't turn out quite the way he expected it to. Well. I guess. And, you know, th those guys have a lot to answer for, too, it seems to me. And so do the news organizations that credulously put on the air what they had to say over and over and over again without really any evidentiary support. It was really quite remarkable, Brett. And last thing quickly, speaking of over and over and over again, how about this news about Michael Avenatti? after he appeared over and over and over again he, on some of those channels. He certainly did, Brett. He was, uh, by one count, he was on CNN and MSNBC 108 times between March and May of last year, and he was being taken seriously on the air as a presidential candidate. And you would have thought that a guy like this, with the dodgy accusations that he made and, and so on, that somebody in those organizations would have smelled a rat and thought, you know, maybe we shouldn't be publicizing this guy. Maybe we shouldn't be having this guy all, on all the time. But he had one thing that they wanted, and that was he was very much anti-Trump, and they were too, and the result was what you see, another embarrassment for the media. Brett, as always, thank you. you bet.